A fragile community is a community of people who want better for themselves and their families. Unfortunately, every day they confront real barriers to their opportunity. They are education related. They are criminal justice related. Entrepreneurship is out of reach. These are very complicated problems you get the talking heads, you see social service programs uh, and administrators who think they've solved the problem. The issue is they have probably not identified properly the problem. And I would submit to you that it's because they didn't ask the community. It's time for a new approach. So I'm in the shower one day, one morning, getting ready for work, and I overhear an interview on a national cable network uh, of Charles Koch being interviewed. He wanted to figure out how to remove barriers to opportunity for all people. So I wrote a letter to him. And I said, I have an idea. We at the Thurgood Marshall College Fund think that we can play a role in helping remove barriers, specifically working with faculty and students on historically black college and university campuses. Within two days, I received a call back from his foundation. We both believe that there are tremendous obstacles and barriers for a, a significant portion of the population. What I'm committed to do is to help remove those barriers and give everybody the opportunity to learn, contribute, and fulfill their potential. This partnership will initially focus on three areas education reform, criminal justice reform, and entrepreneurship. We have to start by listening to the communities. Gallup's TMCF Koch Opportunity Index is a first-of-its-kind polling tool that's going to go to members of fragile communities and ask them, what are the obstacles to you achieving the American dream? So once we've collected these insights, We've got to do something with them. At the core is a research component. The Center for Advancing Opportunity is an institute which will have several campus-based research centers where HBCU faculty and graduate students and even undergraduate students will study the findings and begin developing new and innovative solutions. The fact of the matter is these faculty and students are closer to the problem. Many of them come from fragile communities themselves, and so they are uniquely positioned to understand and address the barriers people in their communities face. This investment in our communities will total $26 million over the next five years. I'm particularly excited about this partnership because we have a very divided uh, country now, and our belief is that if we're going to have a successful country in the future, we need to unite people. Finding those areas where there's commonality is what this partnership is about. We have a real heartfelt interest in figuring out how everyone can enjoy the American experience. It all starts with listening. Thank you.